Hey everyone, Jackie Jean here. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial using the painted sky overlays. Alright, so I went ahead and I pulled the sky over here. And if you go to your drag tool right here, if you don't have a toolbar that you see, you want to make sure you can go to your window and select tools and your toolbar will come up. So this is the drag and drop tool in that top left corner here. And I'm actually going to drag my sky out my little window over here. So now I've got my picture that I'm going to add the sky to and my sky over here. So I'm just going to drag and drop it on top. Go to edit, free transform, and just adjust it to my image and bring the sky just below the horizon. I'm going to go to my layers, go to my blend tool and select multiply. As you can see it just kind of brings it in there. It's really good at just blending like you can still see like the trees and the grass. So I'm just going to bring that down just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blur out my sky just because you want to make sure that the blur is matching the background and that this is really blurry so as far as the depth of field because I shot really wide open on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Go to Edit Free Transform again just to fix that edge. And I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit and let's go ahead and mask that sky layer and make sure that my foreground color is set to black and I'm going to hide the sky. So just masking off the sky off of her. I'm going to reduce that opacity to probably to about 35%. Making sure that my brush is set to 0% hardness. This really helps with the blending. And as you can see I'm just kind of blending around. I'll lower that opacity a little bit more and changing the brush size so that way it blends in. There we go. So we'll do about 76% on the overall opacity. Again, I'm just working on blending it a little bit more. And reduce that opacity to about 65%. So it's just kind of adding just a nice a little bit of sky on there so it's not totally blown out puts more focus on her sweet face merge my layer and then you can keep processing you know making sure that the sky matches you know the image like I could just go ahead and run an action set on it real quick so that way you can kind of see we'll just do a simple right there. So this is simple from the classic collection to just run on there. Just a simple little edit. And then we've got before and after. And I've included some light leaks to go with the Painted Skies collection. And this one, just, just for fun, there's a whole bunch of different light leaks, different looks. We've got some sun flares, some light streams, and just different light effects overall. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this, another image to put it on. And so with the overlays, what you're gonna do, these are different from the skies. I'm just gonna grab this and just, again, drag and drop. Go to edit and free transform where you want it. Go to my layers and instead of choosing the blend mode of multiply, I'm going to choose the blend mode of screen. You can see it adds just that nice little light leak right there. You can kind of move it anywhere you want on the image. I'm going to put it right there. Lower that opacity a little bit. Just give it a little bit of light. And done. Alright, so to find out more, you can click on the link below to see more before and afters from this set. Thank you.